The Builder is a powerful tool that allow you to manage your content to build any type of site. But sometimes, all the options and features that the Builder comes with can be a bit overwhelming. Or maybe, you're just starting out using the Builder. Which is why we've created the Builder Basics tutorial video. This is an intro that'll break down the basics of what you need to know before using the Themeify Builder. Below are some of the things we'll be learning. First things first, let's turn on the Builder. You can do this by clicking on the top bar or on the bottom of the page where it says Turn on Builder. Now let's talk about what are rows, columns, and modules, and how can we differentiate them. We've color coordinated these three to avoid any confusion when editing it. For rows it's purple, columns are orange, and modules are blue. You'll know what you're editing by first hovering and seeing which content is being highlighted. For example, right now I know that I'm going to be editing a row because the row is being highlighted purple. And when I move my cursor to the center, I'll see an orange container highlighted. Now I know that I'm going to be editing the column. For modules, it's also the same concept. Hovering over the module, I'll see a blue outline. And now I know that I'm editing the module. These highlights are very useful, especially when adding padding. The highlights allows me to see where the padding is being added either on a module, column, or row. You can edit or open the control options panel by first hovering over the row. And in the top left corner, you'll see a row action button where you'll find the row options, row styling, and the ability to duplicate a row, to save the row to your library, or to delete it. You can find more options here where you can import, export, and change the visibility of the row to show or hide on tablet, mobile, or desktop. Let's click the brush icon to open the styling options panel. Doing this will open a light box where you can see various options that you can do to style the row. You can dock this light box on the right or move it around wherever you'd like. Now I can set what type of row background I'd like to use, whether it's image, slider, video, or gradient. I can also set a row font that will be applied to the entire row. Whatever font I, I set will be the default font that will be used for this entire row. I can also set the visibility and animation for the row by clicking on the tabs here. In addition to this option, you'll also see this drop down that will appear as you hover over the row options. This option panel will allow you to easily toggle over the row, tablet, or mobile responsive styling as you're editing the row. You can also set the row grid. For this example, I've set it to have a grid 2 layout. When you've set more than one grid layout, you'll also see the option for you to set the column alignment and column direction and gutter spacing. For more information about the column direction, click on the link below and it'll redirect you to the video tutorial about column direction. For gutter spacing, it's a space between the columns. Here you can set it to default, narrow, or none. Now let's talk about editing a column. Editing a column is similar to how you edit the row. Just hover over the action button and you'll see the column styling button and the more icon, where you can import and export the column. Clicking on the styling tab allows you to edit the column as you like, setting a background overlay, padding, and many more. I can also set the font face, and whatever I add will overwrite the row font that I've set, and this font will be applied on this column only. The cool thing about the column is that you can also manually adjust the width by dragging it here. Finally. Let's talk about how to edit a module. You can do this by first hovering over the module and you'll see the pencil icon beside the name of the module. You'll see the same options as the row. Click on the pencil icon and you'll see the options that you can use to edit this module. You'll see the changes that I make on the module and you'll see it appear live on preview similar to the styling that we add for the row and column.
You can add modules in two ways. First is by hovering over the green plus icon on the top left corner. This will open the module panel where you can select from all the modules. Or you can just type on the search field the module that you're looking for. For example, if I type text, it'll show me the text module. Then I can simply drag and drop the modules on any row of my site. Or I can click on the plus green icon and it'll automatically be added on the last row of my page. I can keep this module panel docked permanently as I'm editing my site by clicking on this lock icon here. You can also add modules by hovering over the row and on the green plus icon, you'll see a module panel appear. You can use this to drag and drop modules as well. In addition to this, you can also add sub rows on a row. This is useful when you want to add a grid layout underneath a single row layout. Let me show you an example to better explain how this works. Let's say in this row I want to showcase services for my business. So I'll need to have all my content on a single row, but my title needs to appear at the very top. So what I'll do first is drag and drop a text module. Then to showcase my services, I want to add a three column layout underneath my text module. To do this, I just need to hover over my green plus icon and click on the rows tab. And you'll see various sub row layouts. I'll choose grid three and drag and drop it underneath my text module. And now I can add a feature module to showcase my services. This will also work at the bottom green plus icon at the end of each row. This is a game changer with building sites as it'll speed up the way you build pages without having to start from scratch. First, let's talk about adding a pre-designed row. You can do this by clicking on the green plus icon and click on the rows tab. You can scroll through all the pre-designed rows that we have, or you can filter them by selecting from one of the options that we have here. Then simply drag and drop it to any row in your page. In just a few minutes, we're able to create a beautiful page with a call to action button at the bottom and a service section. But let's say you don't have a few minutes. Let's say all you have is seconds. Then maybe adding one row at a time just takes too much time. Well, with the builder layouts, all you really need is just a few seconds, where the most time consuming thing is choosing from over a hundred builder layouts. These are full page layouts that are ready to go and all you have to do is click on the Builder Layout icon here and select Load Layout. Then you'll see a light box with over a hundred layouts that you can choose from. Select one that you like and then update the content with your own content and that's it, you're done. Now let's talk about the Undo Redo option. This is a great feature that allows you to easily undo the edit that you've done or redo it. It's a simple but very useful feature, especially when building your site. To undo an edit that you did, go to the Themify toolbar and click on the undo arrow here. You'll see the edit that you did automatically apply to your site. Same thing when you click on the redo arrow. You'll see the undo that you did reapplied. To make things faster when editing your site, we've also added some shortcuts to save you time when editing your site. The first shortcut is saving your work without having to click on the Save button. Simply click Command S for Mac or Control S for Windows to save, and it'll save the work you've done so far. Second is the ability for you to edit the builder row, column, or module by hovering and double clicking it. Doing this will automatically open the light box where you can start editing the page. So you won't have to click on the pencil icon or the brush icon to edit any of these. Finally is the undo redo feature. Now you can click on the command Z to undo or the command shift Z to redo and edit that you made.